Here's a little taste of MMA Underground on Tuesday nights. Check it out. Subscribe today. That's all I like to bump my Swiss face. I can if I have to. I heard if you lock in, chin down your chest, align your neck, forehead, bust one's hand open. <laughs> I've heard. That happened with the red goat when you blocked the kick with your face and you were like, who's dead? Like, <laughs> yeah. It, it almost looked like you caught it. Yeah. It almost looked like you caught it. Yeah, I was trying to. <laughs> where that's where that's does this turf? That, where, where does this style of yours come from? Like, how did this develop? What is what is solo style? 15 years ago, I was at Jim and Tacoma to Washington, trained to be a kickboxer. After it took me three months to get in the ring. They wouldn't let me in the ring. They made me do all kinds of workouts and, like, prep to get in the ring to prove I'd get in the ring. As I got in the ring, my, <laughs> my sparring partner was a pay-per-view boxer hmm. professional and every thursday and friday night he beat the <laughs> out of me and i would go home with black eyes bloody lip busted nose and every thursday and friday I'd do it again over and over and over and over again he my ass is handed to me and then one night he's like no not you kid you to the beanpole guy little legs little legs very skinny tall dude that tall guy walks into the ring, jumps up, knees him one time in the chest, lands, steps out of the ring, and then he looks back. And the pay per view fighter grabs his chest and falls front first on the canvas. Everyone in the club runs, Champ, Champ, you okay? And I just watch this guy that's been kicking my ass for the last six months, his ass hand to him by one knee, one knee. I'm changing the program. That guy. People guy, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, on board, on board right there. That's all I need to see. That's all yeah. I need to see.